Welcome to Liz Wilcox's email marketing membership. Now I get a lot of questions because I promote this a lot. I really love this service and people don't necessarily understand how it works or how it can relate to them. So Liz started her life as, not start her life, started her blogging journey, I guess, as an RV travel blogger. So she is like rooted in the travel industry. And I think people often forget that um, when they're like, okay, but how does this work for travel? These are the things she was sending her travel audience. Um, but Liz has a very different email marketing approach than many people you'll see. So number one, I want you to put out of your mind all of those newsletters of like what I've been up to this week that you get from random travel bloggers sharing things that are unrelated to anything they shared the week before. There's no through line, there's no story, or they're just sending you like their four most recent posts. Let's put that out of our mind because that's not really beneficial. I mean, I've unsubscribed to all of those because I hate them. <laughs> so like, that's not what we're doing here. What we're doing here is proper email marketing and community building. And that's what Liz founds her whole membership on. So the email marketing membership is $9 per month. Um, she's about to launch a flash sale version of it with the um, like yearly membership that she only launches three times a year. It is $108 for a year. And you're gonna be like, yeah, but that's the same as $9 for the whole year. Basically, yeah, except you're gonna to get tons of extra bonuses. So with that, you get access to every single thing Liz sells. And she sells a lot of stuff. Like this woman is working hard. So I highly, highly, highly recommend this. I've been in it for over a year now and it is a huge part of how I made my first $10,000 in a month. So I wanna just walk you through a couple of things and then we're actually gonna like live write an email together. And I'm gonna show you one of the ways I do it with ChatGPT because I just don't have time with five sites to write the emails for every single site. I mean, my VA can tell you that when I try to do that, I am very behind on sending them to her. <laughs> So here we have email templates. Every single week, a new template is added. And these are Mad Lib style templates. So they are like fill in the blank kind of formats. Then there's also like a directory of all of them and of different themed types of emails. So for example, if you're selling something, if you're looking for more responses, if you're looking for more clicks on the page, whatever you're looking for, there are themed categories of them too. And every email comes with the actual like Mad Libs template, an explanation of the template, um, and then two like examples in different niches and a video of Liz like walking you through the theory of it. I will admit, I don't often watch the videos. I am usually just grabbing and going at this point, but at the beginning I did and I learned so much more than I ever did from so many other courses. Like most other courses are very much about selling your products. This is about building a community and then all the sales just kind of pour in after that. Like you would be very surprised. I was, I didn't really think it would work. And then it did. And I was like, wait, what is she magic? And I'm pretty sure she is. <laughs> then there are uh, quarterly trainings and calls with uh, different guest speakers. So once a quarter, there's a guest speaker, but there's also a monthly Q and A call with Liz. And there's like, thousands of people on there, but she does her best to get to every single person. She also has a Facebook group where you can ask all the questions and she helps so much. And again, she's a travel blogger, guys. So like if you have a travel blog and you're like, I don't know how to email for this, post in the group and she will help you. I did and it helped a lot. <laughs> so highly recommend. So you can see here that she has um, the live Q and A's once a month on at 1 p.m. EST um, on a Thursday. You get an email about that. Uh, let's go into the trainings to show you a couple of them. We're not gonna watch any because obviously you'd have to pay for that. But you can see here we have private trainings. So these are the ones that are offered um, if you're in the yearly membership. Then we have some guest pros that were on recently. Like look at all these amazing people. And then we have the monthly Q and A where you can ask questions of Liz, which is great. And like, I think it's so valuable, honestly. I don't know why it's $9 a month. Um, so then in the email templates, I'll just show you how it's formatted. So you can see the weekly newsletters that you can click through. She gives you kind of the theme of it, um, the what's gonna happen with it. And then when you click in, you'll get more. Then the theme emails that come with a different system 
Um, she even has like the 101 subject lines that works really well. She has like promos for things like podcasts and everything. Like there's so much here and it's easily searchable too, which is the best part. So highly recommend that. Okay, so I just opened up one of them. Um, I just picked a random one that we're gonna go for uh, to, yeah, try all this out, uh, to show you my system for how I tend to write emails. So you can see here, she explains like the purpose of it. This is um, storytelling email, which usually we do more short and sweet emails that I prefer, um, but I think this is a nice one. And this is a fun way to connect with your people. And so like here you can see like she talks about the fact that like these are leads like they're not you're not just communicating for no reason like there, there's a purpose behind all this. Then she gives you some subject line options. I don't always use them to be honest, but that's up to you. There's a great video walkthrough of it. And then we get this is the skeleton outline of like if you're really good at email writing, you don't need her Mad Libs. I like the Mad Libs. So this is the Mad Libs one where um, basically the like fully capitalized things are the thing that you're going to replace. And then you can see she gives you like this one is written by an e-commerce brand. Um, this one is written for an OBM service provider. So like here you can get a sense of it and like they're not always verbatim the template. Like she does vary it too to show that like you should vary things. And she'll show you things like this, like, okay, PS, I'm offering a 50% off thing. So you can add things in. Like that's the fun part is you get to play with this. And I think what a lot of people get confused with is that they want to just take this and have it magically immediately work for them. And if that's what you want, you need to hire an email marketer who's going to write your emails for you. That's simple as that, who's going to do all the work for you. And I totally get that some people need that. Some people want that. For me, email marketing is where I get to be creative and have fun, and so that's why I really like it. So I'm gonna copy our Mad Libs template and go into ChatGPT. Hey Chat GPT, please act as an expert email marketer. And now the first thing I would usually do is copy and paste an email I wrote from scratch. Um, you could even pull out a blog post or something and give it something to define your style. Like this is my style of language. This is how I write, um, base anything else off of this. I'm not going to do that right now because we're keeping this short as much as I can. So please act as an expert email marketer. Um, you are going to use this template and adjust it for a living abroad travel site. And I'm not gonna give it more information because I want you to see like how it works. Obviously, the more in depth you are, the better. So if you tell it what you want the thing to be, if you tell it like what you were able to accomplish, it's gonna pull out those specifics a lot more for you. If you don't, it's going to make stuff up, 100%. <laughs> like the stuff it's made up here, I think is good, but it is made up. So here we can see it gave it a subject line. It always does if you say it's an email, I often just ignore it. Um, but here it's like, I've been living and exploring vibrant cultures and scenic landscapes across the globe for the past five years. Incorrect. I've been living abroad for 11 years. <laughs> so like, see, it doesn't know everything. So, but you can see like here it goes. Then one day I stumbled upon an opportunity to teach in Japan. That's called a turning point. And just like goes through in an interesting way. Um, I think this is a really unique way to use these, especially if you're time poor. If you're time poor, I totally get that. So this makes it quicker. And I just wanted to show you like roughly what it says. Um, I'm actually going to copy and paste this because I'm about to go over it and have it do something else. So let me just put that over and I'll put this in a Google Doc so you guys can like read this more in depth after. But now what I'm going to do is change it. I also want you to promote a new post about 50 digital nomad visas around the world. Be sure to mention Safety Wing 2 as it's an affiliate. I'm going to let it go again and you'll see like it changes the title. It's going to change things up a bit. Um, oh, interesting. This time it's like letting me input the past time. Maybe it was listening to me and me criticizing it. <laughs> but we'll give it a minute. And this wasn't one of its best, I'll be honest. Partially, I do think that's my fault for the prompt, but you can see it just said, and like to help you explore this possibility, here's this new post. Um, and don't forget to check out Safety Wing. 
I think that's because I said be sure to mention it. I didn't like say where to mention it. Um, but you could also have it write this whole post um, just about an affiliate. So instead, let me copy this. Again, I'm gonna give you guys all of this unedited in a Google Doc in the comment or the description. Um, so instead, uh, make it about travel insurance. And so even if you don't have a product as well, like Liz does have stuff for when you do have products, just sub in an affiliate. Instead of a product that you're offering, have it be an affiliate for something else that you're putting in instead. So here you can see it rewrote that exact thing, but with the turning point being about having a travel insurance policy. And I think this is a really strong one, actually. Like I would edit this a little bit. I definitely think giving it your voice ahead of time helps, but this gives you, we've got three different options, all of which are usable. I would say option number two wasn't the best, but that is definitely on my prompt. Um, but at least two options that are fully usable, minimal editing, good to go. And this is also how I often reuse the templates across my sites because I have five sites. She knows SEO is the only one I don't use these templates on because I do in-depth case studies and stuff. Like I think I've used maybe two of them or something. I have used the sales funnel ones. They work really well. Um, but yeah, so if I'm using the same template across four sites, I don't always like know how to adjust it. Like at a certain point, if you're just staring at the same template over and over again, you go like, blind to the possibilities for the niche. Um, and this can really help you with that, which is great. So it definitely speeds things up. And if you're like on the fence, I totally understand that. What I recommend you do is go to Liz's website, website lizwilcox.com. And on her homepage, I'm actually, I'll link this for you um, in the description as well. She has, so first of all, the subject line, I love that, it's super fun. But where is it? I always forget where it is on the page uh, here where you get her welcome sequence. So the way I was introduced to Liz is I downloaded her welcome sequence. I just installed it and then like walked away. And I was like, why am I getting like 20 emails a day? I don't understand what happened. And then I realized when I finally sat down and looked at it like a week later, because I was like, oh, it must be spam. I was just ignoring it. Like this was back when I was working a bunch of jobs. So like I had no mental space for extra things. Um, and I was like, wow, they're all responding to the welcome sequence that she created. And that sold me. I was like, okay, if everyone's responding to that so well, I've got to start sending these emails. And since my emails before that were literally like, I once wrote one that was, this is my favorite jacket. And that was a subject line and it did terribly. Then I wrote another one that was, I'm writing this to you from the emergency room. And my grandmother called me and yelled at me because <laughs> she was like, you can't do this to me. And I was literally like, I didn't time shift. I was in the emergency room with a potentially broken ankle, turned out to be sprained ankle. So like it, it works. And I definitely think community building is more powerful than people give it credit for. Um, there's a reason that when you build trust and community, people will buy what you recommend. So yes, it takes more time initially, but doing this and then like, she'll even like once a month, she has a sales template or something throw your affiliate in there, throw a product in there. She even has great templates for planning products. Like it's just a wealth of information. And I just highly recommend you check it out. Cause I also think Liz is just like the coolest person. Like she is such an epic person <laughs> and super fun. Um, so even just like watching her videos, like when I have time, I watch them just cause she is such like a bundle of nineties energy and it is so cute. So yeah, if you have questions, uh, please, leave them in the comments and I will get back to them for you. But her uh, yearly pass, the $108 annual membership to um, the email marketing membership is going live on July 23rd to 24th. She only opens the yearly membership three times a year. If it's not for you right now, that's okay. She is going to open it again this year. Typically she does another one at Black Friday. Don't buy it because you're afraid, buy it because you actually need it. <laughs> um, there's also, you can always just buy the $9 a month one for now and see if it's for you. And then if you decide come Black Friday, this is for you, then upgrade, totally fine. Um, I don't want you to feel like this is a necessity. I also would recommend if you're a new blogger, 
probably don't start email marketing till you have about 30,000 page views with SEO if that's your like if SEO is your main focus. If you want email marketing to be your main focus, that's fine too, but then you have to source um, people for your list in other ways. So I recommend SEO first, get the organic traffic and then deal with email marketing once you're kind of stable on the traffic front. Um, yeah, that's really what's worth it in my opinion. That way you're not dividing your time too much. So I hope you enjoyed this and if you have questions, let me know.